Ashe. Ashe, I say to all my highly enriched, melaninated youths, my highly enriched, melaninated young people, the world over. It is I, the mystic philosopher, your elder and messenger on behalf of our honorable ancestors. And I'm here inspired to talk to you via this video about one of Satan the devil's creations called Gun. Vegan. Now, if you already know what I am about to tell you, and you are still found violating and in the wrong, then you have already proven yourselves to be very unwise and in dishonor. This honor to yourselves and also to your ancestors. For by now you must have learned that he or she, anyone who lives by the gun, shall also surely suffer and die dishonorably and like fools by the gun. No doubt you may have taken note of what I said that I am here to talk to you about the gun and my mentioning of the fact that it is Satan the devil's invention. And my reason or reasons for doing that is that I am assuming that you already know of Satan the devil or that you have already know who and what Satan and his devils are. I think that if at all you were born and raised here in the Western world, or you were born and raised in a Christian, a Muslim, a Jewish, or even in an atheist home or society, then you must know the concepts, ideas, and the belief systems that the word Satan denotes. You must know that Satan, or by now you must know that Satan is the antithesis of God, or more correctly, of good. So the questions that I hope to answer and shed some more light on and insight into are one what is a gun two who invented the gun and three for what purpose was it the gun invented first question one what is a gun the gun or a gun by its very meaning and definition and in all practical demonstration and application is a weapon of war and war by its very meaning and definition is the opposite of peace war is the opposite of harmony unity and true happiness, also known as natural happiness. Therefore, we will all agree that peace, harmony, unity, and happiness cannot or can never be achieved by the use of a gun or by the use of guns. Second question, who invented the gun? The gun was and the gun is a diabolic invention and diabolic creation, period. It came from and out of the corrupt 
and malevolent minds of our oppressors, of our real slave traders and slave masters, the evil source and a natural imagination. The gun was conspired and the gun is inspired by the alien entity that is commonly known as Satan the devil and his wicked seeds. Yes, his Satan or his Satan's literal people that are here walking, talking and living among us the earth's natural, organic, and highly melaninated humans today. Now I know some of you that are watching and listening to this discourse might be asking yourselves, why do I say Satan, the devil, and his wicked seeds? Yes, his Satan's literal people that are here walking, talking, and living among us the earth's natural, organic, and highly melaninated humans today. And it is also possible that a devil or two or some devils might be watching and listening to this video and they might even claim to be offended by my statement and to this I must respond by saying that I can't honestly think of no greater and credible authority and one that the system agrees with one that the system endorsed and promote that will confirm and has confirmed my statement of truth that this man than this man called Jesus Christ himself I cannot think of a greater authority than Jesus Christ himself to prove my statement correct according to the Adamic race history and holy book also known as the Christian Holy Bible the man commonly known today as Jesus Christ was speaking to and rebuking some of Satan's Satan the devil's children yes he was speaking to them and rebuking them and again yes Jesus Christ was speaking to Satan the devil's literal seeds and this is what he said and I quote as it is you are looking for a way to kill me a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God Abraham did not do such things you are doing the works of your own father. We are, we are not illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Jesus continued. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I have come from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning not holding to the truth for there is no truth in him when he lies he speaks his native language for he is a liar and the father of lies unquote 
And I've just read from the book called John, John chapter 8, verse 40 to 44. And it was the New International Version, known as the NIV translation. So, if Jesus Christ was correct, and if Jesus Christ is correct, then right here in this, the beginning of this my talk, you can see and hear for yourselves that the man or the entity called Satan the devil is a father. That he, Satan, has children, literal children, also known as his literal seeds, his literal offspring, right here on the earth. Here you can also see the core and inherent characteristic of Satan the devil that he is a murderer that he is a denier of the truth that his native language is one based on trickery and as I oftentimes quote a word I've learned from uh, the renowned uh, radio broadcast and Jamaican poet Muta Baruka a trichology language Cons and liars, these are his characteristics. His language is one based on trickery. Cons and liars. And that there is no truth in him. That he is a liar. These are the characteristics of Satan the devil. And the father of lies. And so too are his seeds. At, the, at their core... They all have the same core and inherent characteristics of their father, Satan the devil. Like father, like son, they all they are all murderers, thieves and liars, etc. And of them I spoke when I said they are living, walking and talking among us. Let's go to question two. Question 3. And for what purpose was it, meaning the gun, invented? Well, according to the spirits of our honorable ancestors, our honorable melanin, our melaninated ancestors, our carbon skin ancestors, Satan, the unnatural one, Satan, the antithesis of our, our natural melanin good or some say God in his envy and in his lust for power real firepower his jealousy and his evil attempt at wanting to be like our natural melanin God our natural source and mother mother nature by having power of lightning and thunder or lightning and thunderbolt in his hand he Satan imitatingly invented the gun which is also known as the fire arm which is fire in his arm fire power in his hand to flash like lightning and clap like thunder lightning bolt and thunderbolt in his hands that's the purpose of this invention and it is with this fake evil and unnatural power that he Satan the devil and his wicked seeds use the thing called force his evil force and evil forces to invade, occupy, terrorize, 
deceive, capture, dominate, subjugate, colonize, and to control both the minds, both the bodies and minds of all of our people. So my youth, now that you know what a gun really and truly is, now that you know that a gun, or now that you know that a gun is Satan and his devil's weapon, and his Satan and his devil evil invention, and the purpose is for it to make war, and cause death and mass destruction. You must now seriously think, logically deduce, and know that anyone, man or woman, male or female, that makes a gun, has a gun, anyone that owns a gun, carries a gun, Handles a gun, play with a gun, working with a gun, profiting by trading or selling a gun, etc. etc. Anyone that do these things is working for and is serving no other than Satan the Cod. Satan the Cod. Cod C O D meaning Satan, the chief of all devils. Now you must sensibly think. No one calling upon you, my youths, to sensibly think, logically deduce, and know for yourselves that all gone men and all gone women, all gone slingers, gone enthusiasts, etc., etc., are working for and are serving no other than Satan the God, Satan the chief of devils. And only a fool, a deceitful person, a devil, or an intellectually dishonest humankind that will try to argue his or her way out of this obvious and indisputable truth. Now, let me warn you, my youths, and forewarn you, all you, my highly melanated youths. Please note that I don't use the word black and stay tuned for my upcoming video where I will explain why and teach you more about not calling yourselves black and not calling our enemies or calling Caucasian and others white. But more on that at another time. So let me warn and forewarn you. Please do not deliberately or intentionally argue with Satan the devil or any of his agents. Another way of saying it is please do not argue with any man or any woman, or any, in, in, or any form of human and humankind that has a gun, that carries a gun, that work with a gun, or that play with a gun, etc. And it does not matter if it is a so-called licensed gun, or a so-called unlicensed gun or a so-called legal gun or an illegal gun because the effects are or the effects or the consequences are the same the consequences of the gun is disaster pain death sorrow and destruction you name them and please do not Keep friends or company with them either any gunslinger, legal or illegal. Anybody who deals with guns is dangerous and are servants of Satan. 
So please do not keep friends or company with them. Your activated common sense alone should tell you that by their very devious nature, possession and characteristics, all servants of Satan, the evil, or some say the devil, but Satan, the evil, are likened to serpents. They are snakes. They are treacherous. And it is not a matter of if they may or if they will hurt you or if they may or will set you up. But it is only a matter of when. When they do it. Because do it, they will. For as soon as you may piss them off, or as soon as you may off end them, offend, off end, or provoke them, or as soon as the opportunity presents itself, they will poison you with their most lethal venom. The fire in their arm or the fire in their hand, the gun, Satan's weapon. Therefore, in as much as it may be humanly possible, avoid all forms of arguments or argument, confrontation, or interaction with Satan or his agents, with Satan or his servants and his people. Because you cannot and will never win an argument with a devil. And you will only end up being a victim. Satan and his people are the authors of deceptive rationalization. They are the authors of deceptive reasoning. They are all cons. And for your information, Satan and his people, meaning his literal seeds, yes, his servants and his agents are only out to con you. They are only out to con us. First, they will confront you. Then they will confuse you. Then they will confide in you. Then they will conquer you. Then they will control you. Then they will convince you. Then they will convert you. Then they will congregate you. Then they will confine you. Or confine you. Then they will convict you. And finally, they will con them you condemn you even to your physical death Satan and his people his agents and his servants are connivers they are conceited they are all cons and notice how cons rhyme with guns and that all cons love guns Jesus Christ, again, is alleged to have said that the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. And from our, from our personal life's experiences and observations, we all know that another name and another word for a thief is a con in fact my mama used to say liar a liar and a thief always walk together and who's a liar a con therefore from this we can logically deduce that all cons also known as all thieves are liars and deceivers and they all love guns all cons, also known as thieves, 
are killers and murderers. And they all love guns. Remember, it is Jesus who said, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. All guns, also known as thieves, are killers and murderers. And they all love guns. All guns, also known as thieves, thieves, are destroyers and they all love guns. All guns are wicked people. The servants of Satan, the devils, are rather Satan, the devil, and they all love guns. In fact, if I may take the liberty and say that all cons, also known as thieves, have guns. Or that at the very least, all cons, also known as thieves, have access to guns. They love guns and they will voluntarily or otherwise give their own lives for one of their master's weapon. Their master is, or their father is, Satan the devil. And they will give their lives for their master's weapons, the gun and ammunition. My youths, my melaninated youths, you are who I'm concerned about. Others can take care of themselves. My hope, my wish, my dream, my prayer to our source and mother, mother nature, to our gods and our honorable ancestors is for you, is to our ancestors for you, my, soul, my prayer to our ancestors for you is that you all will live to be an elder like me. That you all will live to be an elder and see at least three score and ten years. At least three scores and ten is seventy years. Is my wish and prayer for you is that you live to, to be at least seventy. Or at the very least, my youth, my hope, my wish, my dream and my prayer to our source. Not to our enemies, God and source. I don't deal with them. Right? But to our source. Is that you live to be at least three scores, which is 60 years. Where you will be able to see and play with at least a grandchild. Where you will be able to see some gray hair. On your head too. If not on your head, on your beard, or someplace else, see some gray hair. Which is a symbol of your life's journey. And your life's victory. And where you will be able to experience and manifest true maturity. Understanding and wisdom. And above all making it to 60 or 70. You will be able, you will be able to help teach others. By example. And help guide the youths with truth and right information. Too much of you, my youths, are foolishly killing, being killed at age 20, age 19, teenagers. It is very sad. It's grievous. It grieves my spirit and above all, it it grieves and is grieving the spirit of the spirits of our honorable ancestors. First to see the conspiracy and the covert and blatant killing, slaughtering, and murdering of you, my melanin youths, by our enemies. And those of you that do not know, those of you, my youths, that still don't know. Who and what are our enemies? You're either in a hypnotic trance um, or you're, you're being willfully ignorant or you're just simply fools. It saddens me and it grieves my spirit to the core. And above all, it grieves the spirits of our honorable ancestors to see 
to hear and to learn of the murder and exploitation of human youths for your organs, for your body parts, for your energy, and as blood and human sacrifices to Satan the evil. By who? By his Satan servants and our formidable enemies. But it is, it is even more grievous. It is even more painful and torturous and terrorizing to us. Us meaning our, myself and our honorable ancestors. To see you all being killed. To see you all maiming yourselves. To see you all dropping dead like like flies as a result of your own stupidity by foolish, foolishly killing yourselves foolishly shooting and killing each other with what? with our enemy with our enemy Satan the devil and his people's weapon our weapons, the gun. It's sad. Now please listen to me and listen to me well. I am not an entertainer. I am not here to entertain you. I am not here to amuse you, to make you feel good. Or to seek your likes, your friendship, or you are following or to seek your approval not at all I am not one of the system's approved entertainers that will sing rap that will DJ and directly or indirectly tell you that it is okay for you to have a gun that you need to have a gun for your protection that it is cool. I know I learned this from my grandson that cool spell with K, not C O O L, but K O O L. That it is cool for you to strap up with a gun. That it is a that it is hip for you to sling a gun. That it is a big man thing for you to carry a piece. Big man thing for you to carry your iron and for you to both shot in a boy head. I'm not those entertainers. I'm not here to tell you those stupidness. To both shot in a boy head. To kill and dash away your own melanin brothers and sisters. And to make guppy, etc. etc. No, I am not an entertainer. I am not here like some of your popular entertainers that for money fame and loyalty to their master Satan and his Satan system and Satan's seeds will deceive you into believing that running with a tool also known as a gun which you all know I learned these things from you guys is a good thing that having a gun is fashionable and that you are a bad man and that bad man no take talk, etc. I am the mystic philosopher. Your elder and messenger. On behalf of our honorable ancestors. I am here to tell you. Without fear. Compromise. Or apology. That real bad men. And real bad women are all servants of Satan and his devils. They are all servants of Satan and his people, his seeds, his devils, all bad men, all and gunmen. In fact, the real... Um, I am here... Sorry, I'm here 
to tell you that the real bad men and the real bad women are gunmen and, uh, and gunwomen that don't have to hide their guns. Real bad man and real bad woman hide their guns. That don't have to hide their guns and weapons. In fact, the real and true bad men and the real and true bad women wear their guns and weapons publicly and with the system's badges of honor. And when the real bad men and the real bad women hide their guns from us or from you, it is because they want to con you. Con, C-O-N-U. Or to con us. And thus, it is said that they concealed their weapons. Moreover, a real bad men, uh, moreover, real bad men and bad women don't have to run or hide when they use their guns or fire their guns. In other words, when them both shot, them not have to run up and down or hide. The real bad men and bad women don't even have to shoot you just to prove how bad they are or just because you you may diss them or because you may have a disagreement with them in fact the real bad men and the real bad women do not kill or destroy their own people their own kind and their own race only fools idiots and the bad men and bad women wanna be that do those stupid things real bad men and bad women run to and run in the direction of the wanna be bad men and bad women especially when they are firing shots or behaving badly but when the wanna be bad men and wanna be bad women hear that the real bad men and the real bad women are coming for them they have to run up and down and hide now my youths I'm here to tell you that there is no good whatsoever that has ever come from a gun or that can ever come from a gun and as I have mentioned earlier and time and time again in this and other videos that the gun is evil concentrated the gun is it is Satan and his devils his chosen people and his servants weapon the gun is their devious device and your activated common sense will affirm that there is nothing good that can come from evil minds. And please be not deceived. For not just because a devil, an agent or servant of Satan, the God, chief of devils, may have done something or may seem may be seen doing something, an act that might be understood or might be construed as good by an awakened observer, truly means that at the core, he or she is doing good. Because the evidence has shown, and will no doubt continue to show, that Satan and his devils, Satan and his agents, his chosen people, and his servants, changed not and they cannot change a devil is a devil is a devil is a devil is a devil until eternity or unto eternity and beyond don't think a devil can change don't be fooled and if anyone or any con try telling you 
that this is not true. Then please ask them to go and stand before one. Stand before one of their loaded guns. And simply ask another of their own agent and servant of Satan to discharge it. So that they may see and know of a fact and for themselves what comes from it and in order that they may prove I, the mystic philosopher, wrong. I am here to tell you, my youths, that a gun can only and a gun will only produce evil, fear. A gun will only produce fear, massacres, miseries, heartaches, suffering, death and destruction you name it so my youths let me tell you or more correctly please let me remind you that it was not our god our good it was not our natural source and mother mother nature and nor was it our ancestors that invented created and manufactured this destructive weapon called the gun. Our honorable ancestors did not imagine guns. They did not know guns, let alone new and used guns. And nor did they have any need for guns because quite frankly, they were not warmongers. They were not vile brutes ill-tempered beast they were not mechanically programmed killers and barbaric murderers and nor were they the seeds of satan the devil satan the evil satan the god our ancestors were not satan's seeds it was only when satan and his host of devils invaded conquered divided and occupied our motherlands that our honorable ancestors knew of guns and since our regretful encounter with these devils these demons these evil forces and fallen angels our people's lives have never been the same again all we knew and experienced since are fear, terrorism, diseases, enslavement, poverty, injustice, death and destruction. Satan and his seeds have proven to be a curse. The curse, a black spell, a spell of bad omen to us, upon us, around us and over the whole of our mother earth our mother earth react with disgust and sometimes mourn when these devils walk upon her that is why we melanin people we the ascendants and offspring of African ancestry or to be more precise we the ascendants and offspring of Al Kibulan Al Kibu land the ancient name of our motherland ancestry should not we should not even look at a gun we should not deliberately and intentionally look at a gun admire a gun lost after a gun we should not let alone purposefully touch a gun for to do so is to run the risk of being possessed by satan the cod and his demons and please don't look at admire lost after or touch them them meaning Satan and his chosen people either. 
for you will also run the risk of becoming possessed by them and that is what is happening to a lot of our youths today let me stick to this one according to the spirits of our honorable ancestors and our God our good and our sourced mother mother nature you are we must not touch look at admire lust after friend be friend sleep or cohabit with etc etc anything or anyone that belongs to satan the devil or satan the god the chief of devils full stop and should you or should we choose to disobey this their, their very, this very simple, practical, and straightforward instruction. Should we choose to disobey this very simple, practical, and straightforward instruction? You or we are bound to end up in trouble. For your information, my youths, that was and that is still our forbidden tree that we should not that, that we should and that we must stay the hell away from our forbidden tree to touch anything that belongs to the devil or anyone that belongs to them but I'll have much more to say on, on this the forbidden tree later or sometime in the future stay tuned now let me talk to you again about have a gun, to possess a gun, and to be in possession of a gun. I want to take it a little, a, a, a little step further and explain in much more detail what is truly meant by to have a gun, to possess a gun, and to be in possession of a gun. Also known, as I mentioned before, fire in arm number one it is unnatural to have fire in your arm but more than that or what is true and what is truly meant by to live to have to possess or to be in possession of anything that belongs to satan the devil or satan the cod for that matter i want to take that a little deeper and explain to you maybe you have never heard of this before but stay, please listen but before I do, it is incumbent on me that I admit to the fact that I am also very much aware that those among us, some of our own highly melaninated brothers and sisters that are publicly advocating for the buying, storing and owning of Satan's guns and other of his Satan's deadly weapons in order to protect themselves from our enemies and in order to fight and wage war against the seeds, the devils, the agents and servants of Satan, the cod, and all those that are seemingly threatening, threatening our very existence and survival on this, our mother and planet Earth. Some are even claiming and protesting that it is their God-given right to own, carry, and use Satan the, Satan the God's gun. And also some are even saying that because they are law-abiding citizens of the United States, for example, and as such, it is their Second Amendment right under the u.s constitution for them to keep and bear arms etc but to all those of my brothers and sisters that because of ignorance of who and what we truly are and out of being deceived psychological being psychologically trodden down and mentally colonized and out of fear and desperation, etc., etc., are now being forced to think that way. 
are now being forced to believe that they are that we can take up Satan's the God's arms and fight against him and his devils, his demons, his servants, his agents, his people, his evil forces, and expect to survive, let alone win, is definitely not a wise, is definitely not at all wise to think that's possible. From my perspective, and quite frankly speaking, it is stupid. It is irrational thinking. It is insanity. It is a suicide mission you're on. And above all, it is a trap. That is the key. It is a trap. We are being set up. Satan and his evil forces are setting us up so that we give them reason. And above all, not only reason, because they really don't need reason to kill, because they are just killers and murderers. And thieves, you name it. They can't help themselves with respect to that. But what they need from us most of all is permission to slaughter and exterminate us all. That is why we are not yet totally. One of the reasons, and I will explain at another time more to this fact. But they are setting us up, frustrating us. Let us feel this fear and other, other, other emotions so that we now go and become one with them by picking up their evil weapons and try to war with them and expect to win. That's stupid, man. Don't let no one deceive you, my youth. That's not the way. In fact, I am also reminded of something my mother used to say. She used to say, puss and dog don't have the same luck. In other words, a cat and a dog, they don't have the same luck. Meaning, in this case, not because we see Satan the cod. Not just because we see Satan the cod's people, his agents and servants, etc. Have, own, hold, and possess arms and do all manner of evil with their guns and in and by their system get away with it means that we melaninated people, the earth's natural, organic humans, will be that lucky. What the devils can do and get away with, we should know by now it won't work for us. Even when you become induced and become devils like them. Here's a quote I'd like to read for you and expound on. It's by the famous, the renowned mastermind are the renowned intellectual mind genius, Albert Einstein. And he said, and I quote, We cannot solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we use when we created them. Unquote. Now my mother also used to say, You can put out fire with fire and don't cause permanent damage or destruction to the thing that is being burnt. Unquote. I say you cannot get rid of Satan. I, the mystic philosopher, say you cannot or we cannot get rid of Satan, his devils, his demons, his agents, his dynamic forces, his demonic forces, and his chosen people, etc. By using the same thinking and mindset, the same evil methods and operations, the same evil weapons, guns and ammunition, the same war techniques and war strategies that they, they meaning Satan, his devils and his dynamic for, demonic forces, his agents and his chosen people, have themselves invented, created, perfected and are executing. They have executed it and they are still executing it. We cannot use it and expect it to work in our favor. You can't dig deeper into a hole in which you are captured and trapped and still expect to dig your way out. You're going down, dig deeper. No. And that, will, that is exactly what you would be doing 
by trying to pick up the devil's weapon in the devil's space to wage war against the devil after all these times not to mention 2,000 years but at least so the 5,000 years you don't know who the devil 500 years you don't know who, who the devil is and think you could win war by using his wet weapon against him the gun no it won't work to have a gun to possess a gun and to be in possession of a gun a firearm or ammunition is to be literally possessed by Satan or his demons. Let me break it down even further for you so that you will have no reason not to get the truth and understanding of what I am here to tell you. The word have by its very meaning and definition is to possess. Hold. Sorry. To possess, own, and to hold. To have something means to possess, to own, or to hold something. To have, on the other hand, to have nothing means to possess, to own, or to hold nothing. And just for your information, that is the true and practical meaning and definition of free and what it is to be free. In other words, you are free and you can only be free and truly free when you have, possess, own or hold nothing. But that is a separate topic for future discussion. That's a deep topic for future discussion. Most won't get that. Whenever you hold or whenever you have, possess, own or hold or whatever, let me repeat that, whatever you have, whatever you possess, whatever you own or hold, you become one with it. And it is also because, and it also becomes one with you. The essence, the spirit, or the energy of that thing becomes one with you. You now possess it and it now possess you. You are now in possession of it and it is now in possession of you. You are now induced with its nature and its characteristics. Induced meaning... You are now being influenced and controlled by the nature or the characteristic of that thing. Thus, you now take on and manifest its nature and our characteristics. So to have a gun means to possess, to own, or to hold a gun. And the reverse is true. So in order for you not to become possessed and controlled by things is that you not have, own, or hold anything. Again, that's another deep topic for another time. The word possessed is an adjective that describes a person or a human that is completely influenced and controlled by an evil spirit. Now please note that the word possess does not mean or does not, and nor does it describe a person or someone that is completely influenced and controlled by a good spirit. In other words, when you claim to have, own, or possess anything, or that anything have, own, or possess you, right there and then, you should know and understand that it is Satan, the card that you are dealing with. That it is, that is his evil philosophy and practice to own, to have, to possess, etc. For example, Satan, the card. God again means chief of devils. Along with his host of devils, his servants, his children, and his forces of evil, etc. 
came to our planet, our home, waters, and lands, called Mother Earth, they saw us, or they saw our ancestors happily living our lives in peace and harmony with our Mother Nature and with all our fellow natural earthlings. Then they con us, and with very little or no resistance, they conquered us. Then they proceeded to viciously rape, murdered our women, raped and murdered our women, our mothers and our grandmothers. They raped and murdered our, our daughters, our children. They viciously raped, sodomized and murdered our males, our elders, our fathers, our uncles, our cousins, our brothers. Then they destroyed our dwellings and communities. Then they enslaved and colonized all our people that survived. And then they captured our homelands. And then they named everything after themselves and claimed to now own the whole planet. So much so that today, they, Satan and his wicked seeds, unabashedly boast that they came, they saw, and they conquered us. And today, we don't have to look very far to see the attitude, the behavior, the mindset, and the evil manifestation of Satan's children, his heirs and successors that claim to have, to own, and to hold, and to possess the earth and all the riches and wealth thereof. But here again, that's another topic for another time. <coughs> Sorry. I told you in those uncertain terms earlier that the gun is Satan and his seeds, his agents, his chosen people, and his devils, his demons and dem the, um, demonic forces, etc. I told you that's their weapon. I told you that Satan and his people are the evil ones. They are the ones that are responsible for all our woes upon this our planet Earth. I told you that to have a gun, to own a gun, to hold a gun, to possess a gun, to be in possession of a gun, in any way, shape or form, or under any circumstances whatsoever, is to work for and to be a slave, also known as a servant. Of Satan and his devils. Satan and his demons. And by now you have clearly seen. That to have mean to possess. Which also mean to be in possession of. From this. You must now logically deduce. That to have a gun. Is to possess a gun. Which also means to be in possession of a gun. Which also means that. The satanic spirit, the evil spirit, the dynamic, sorry, the demons and demonic forces of a gun, of Satan, the card, the gun, are now in you, are now in possession of you. And it is, and it or they have taken possession of you, which also means that you and the gun have become one. Which in all practicality means that you are now a person that is completely possessed, influenced and controlled by an evil spirit or by evil spirits, also known as demons, etc. And that is why the same demonic system and its evil forces that produces the gun and profits from the gun will turn around and charge you we will turn around and convict you, imprison you, or might even kill you for being in possession of a gun, also known as a firearm, fire in arm. For being in possession of an evil power in your arm. Especially if you did not obtain that fire in, in your hand or that fire in your arm directly and by their laws. Because they know that you are now completely influenced and controlled by the spirit of the gun. And that it could drive you insane and make you temporary. 
or permanently get out of control and do crazy. You know what? Etc. So my youths, a gun will only make you think, act and behave stupid. A gun will only make you think, act and behave like you are powerful, like you are invincible, like you are untouchable. The evil spirit of the gun will only make you act and feel like you are unreachable and unstoppable. Really make you feel like nobody no better than you. But when Satan or his demons take back their gun, or when they use it on you, and should you survive the encounter, you will find that you are alone with regrets, fear, pain, and agony. As your only true and lasting friend. So please leave Satan and his seeds. His literal people's weapon. The gun alone. So that as they. The seeds, agents and servants of Satan the evil. Believe in their guns. So as they manufacture their guns. So as they live by their guns. So as they be empowered by their guns. Dominate. Subjugate and govern by their guns. Profit from the blood of innocence. Caused. By their guns. So too shall they. Perish. By their own evil invention. The gun. And for your information. Satan and his host of devils. His seeds. They know that their time among us here. On this planet. Called Mother Earth. Is very short. It's coming to an end. Remember they talk about. As it is in the beginning. So shall it be in the end. They have a beginning and they have an end. But in the meantime and between time, please let us earnestly pray to our source, to our God, our goods, our God, and our ancestors, our honorable ancestors, for their speedy, retributive justice on these devils, our enemies. Now for more reasoning, for much more reasoning, perspective, and insights and many other topics I hereby invite you to please check out my blog post and podcast called Another Perspective The Mystic Philosopher it's now high time for reasoning at www.themysticp.com and also my YouTube channel called The Right Number. There you may also listen to some of my messages in songs. Thanks for your time and for listening. I am the mystic philosopher. <laughs>